He's a saint who's not very well known outside of Spain, but nonetheless he's a key figure in the Catholic Church. His message inspired St. John of the Cross, St. Teresa of Avila, St. Ignatius of Loyola. He's also credited with the conversion of St. John of God and St. Francis Borgia. His name is St. John of Avila, the patron of Spanish priests. He's also one of the patrons of World Youth Day in Madrid. In fact, the Pope is planning on declaring him Doctor of the Church during that gathering. A Spanish historian says that St. John of Avila is a figure that stands out, even in a century full of so-called religious giants. Amid all these giants, de Avila stands out because of the influence he had on them. He founded a university and opened several seminaries. During his life, he was also imprisoned by the Inquisition of Sevilla in Spain, this before being acquitted. His preaching had great influence on characters of all kinds, from cardinals and bishops like the Archbishop of Toledo to kings like Philip II. They didn't meet directly, but St. John of Avila approved the book titled The Book of My Life by St. Teresa. There were people who walked for days to hear his sermons. There are two famous ones. One is based in Granada, where a bookseller named Juan Ciudad listened to the sermon. Later on, that bookseller converted and became St. John of God. St. John of Avila had a solid education. He studied law, philosophy, and theology. His writings gave rise to the Treaty of Trent, which defended the organization of seminaries and the reform of the clergy. His reform defended the great virtues of the clergy. First, they should be formally educated. Secondly, they must have a strong spirituality, not externally, but rather a biblical devotion, liturgical and based on Christ. Thirdly, they must have good morals, meaning others must be able to trust them on issues relating to justice, chastity, and respect of all people. It was because of his profound message and also for its international relevance that in 2001, Spanish bishops requested that St. John of Avila be declared a doctor of the church. But to achieve this, first they had to prove several points. One must have very solid theological, philosophical, and Christian values, along with a universal character. Secondly, he must be recognized internationally. Lastly, he must have shown an influence in spirituality, life testimony, and thirdly, he must still be a relevant figure. All these requirements were presented in a detailed study. In regards to his doctrine, it must be proven that it shows superiority and relevance. First, the request was approved by the Congregation for the Doctrine of Faith. Afterward, several theologians from different universities also studied the text. The next step was a vote from the cardinals of the Congregation for the Causes of Saints. Lastly, of course, the last word was for the Pope, who approved the request.